Hello everyone, welcome to our session on AWS Guard Duty. In this session, we will discuss what Guard Duty is and how it works, what are its benefits, and then we'll discuss few Guard Duty interview questions and answers. Let's get started. Amazon Guard Duty is a threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior to protect your AWS accounts, workloads, and data stored in Amazon S3 bucket. With the cloud, the collection and aggregation of account and network activities is simplified, but it can be time-consuming for security teams to continuously analyze event log data for potential threats. With Guard Duty, you now have an intelligent and cost-effective option for continuous threat detection in AWS. The service uses machine learning, anomaly detection, and integrated threat intelligence to identify and prioritize potential threats. Guard Duty analyzes tens of billions of events across multiple AWS data sources, such as AWS CloudTrail event logs, Amazon VPC flow logs, and DNS logs. With a few clicks in the AWS management console, Guard Duty can be enabled with no software or hardware to deploy or maintain. By integrating with Amazon CloudWatch events, Guard Duty alerts are actionable, easy to aggregate across multiple accounts, and straightforward to push into existing event management and workflow systems. Let's see how Amazon Guard Duty works. Once you enable Guard Duty in your AWS account without additional software to deploy or manage the software. Once activated, it continuously monitors and automatically analyzes networks, accounts, and data access activities. Guard Duty uses machine learning, anomaly detection rules, and integrated threat intelligence to identify and prioritize potential threats. All threats are alerted in the Guard Duty console, integrated into event management or workflow systems, or trigger AWS Lambda for automated remediation or prevention. The benefits of using Amazon Guard Duty are as follows. Amazon Guard Duty makes it easy for you to enable continuous monitoring of your AWS accounts, workloads, and data stored in Amazon S3 bucket. It operates completely independently from your resources, so there is no risk of performance or availability impacts to your workloads. It's fully managed with integrated threat intelligence, anomaly detection, and machine learning. Amazon Guard Duty delivers detailed and actionable alerts, that are easy to integrate with existing event management and workflow systems. There are no upfront costs and you pay only for the events analyzed, with no additional software to deploy or subscriptions to threat intelligence feeds required. Let's go through some interview questions and answers. First, how do you enable Amazon Guard Duty? Amazon Guard Duty can be enabled with a few clicks in the AWS Management Console. Once enabled, Guard Duty immediately starts analyzing continuous streams of account and network activity in near real time and at scale. There are no additional security software, sensors, or network appliances to deploy or manage. Threat intelligence is pre integrated into the service and are continuously updated and maintained. Next, can we manage multiple accounts with Amazon Guard Duty? Yes, Amazon Guard Duty has a multiple account feature that allows you to associate and manage multiple AWS accounts from a single master account. When used, all security findings are aggregated to the administrator or Amazon Guard Duty master account for review and remediation. Amazon Cloud Watch events are also aggregated to the Amazon Guard Duty master account when using this configuration. Next, what data sources does Amazon Guard Duty analyze? Amazon Guard Duty analyzes AWS Cloud Trail. VPC flow logs, and AWS DNS logs. The service is optimized to consume large volumes of data for near real time processing of security detections. Guard Duty gives you access to built in detection techniques that are developed and optimized for the cloud and maintained and continuously improved upon by AWS security. Next, do you have to enable AWS Cloud Trail, VPC flow logs, and DNS logs for Amazon Guard Duty to work? No. Amazon Guard Duty pulls independent streams of data directly from AWS CloudTrail, VPC flow logs, and AWS DNS logs. You don't have to manage Amazon S3 bucket policies or modify the way you may collect and store your logs. Guard Duty permissions are managed as service-linked roles that you can revoke at any time by disabling Guard Duty. 
This makes it easy to enable the service without complex configuration, and it eliminates the risk that an AWS IAM permission modification or S3 bucket policy change will affect the operation of the service. It also makes guard duty extremely efficient at consuming high volumes of data in near real time, without affecting the performance or availability of your account or workloads. Next, does Amazon Guard Duty manage or keep my logs? No. Amazon Guard Duty does not manage or retain your logs. All data consumed by Guard Duty is analyzed in near real time and discarded. This allows Guard Duty to be highly efficient, cost effective, and reduces the risk of data remnants. For delivery and retention of logs, you should use AWS logging and monitoring services directly, which provide full featured delivery and retention options. Next, what is Amazon Guard Duty Threat Intelligence? Amazon Guard Duty Threat Intelligence is made up of IP addresses and domains known to be used by attackers. Guard Duty Threat Intelligence is provided by AWS security and third party providers, such as Proofpoint and CrowdStrike. These threat intelligence feeds are pre integrated and continuously updated in Guard Duty at no additional cost. Next, what can Amazon Guard Duty detect? Amazon Guard Duty gives you access to built in detection techniques that are developed and optimized for the cloud. The detection algorithms are maintained and continuously improved upon by AWS security. The primary detection categories include. First on the list is reconnaissance. Activity suggesting reconnaissance by an attacker, such as unusual API activity, intra-VPC port scanning, unusual patterns of failed login requests, or unblocked port probing from a known bad IP. Next is instance compromise. Activity indicating an instance compromise, such as cryptocurrency mining, malware using domain generation algorithms, outbound denial of service activity, unusually high volume of network traffic, unusual network protocols, outbound instance communication with a known malicious IP, temporary Amazon EC2 credentials used by an external IP address, and data exfiltration using DNS. Next is account compromise. Common patterns indicative of account compromise include API calls from an unusual geolocation or anonymizing proxy, attempts to disable AWS CloudTrail logging, unusual instance or infrastructure launches, infrastructure deployments in an unusual region, and API calls from known malicious IP addresses. Last on the list is bucket compromise. Activity indicating a bucket compromise, such as suspicious data access patterns indicating credential misuse, unusual S3 API activity from a remote host, unauthorized S3 access from known malicious IP addresses, and API calls to retrieve data in S3 buckets from user that had no prior history of accessing the bucket or invoked from an unusual location. Amazon Guard Duty continuously monitors and analyzes AWS CloudTrail S3 data events, example, get object, list objects, delete object, to detect suspicious activity across all of your Amazon S3 buckets. Next, how are security findings delivered by Guard Duty? When a threat is detected, Amazon Guard Duty delivers a detailed security finding to the Guard Duty console and Amazon Cloud Watch events. This makes alerts actionable and easy to integrate into existing event management or workflow systems. The findings include the category, resource affected, and metadata associated with the resource, such as a severity level. Next, what is the format of Amazon Guard Duty Findings? Amazon Guard Duty Findings come in a common JSON format that is also used by Amazon Macy and Amazon Inspector. This makes it easy for customers and partners to consume security findings from all three services, and incorporate them into broader event management, workflow, or security solutions. Next, how long are security findings made available in Amazon Guard Duty? Security findings are retained and made available through the Amazon Guard Duty console and APIs for 90 days. After 90 days, the findings are discarded. To retain findings for longer than 90 days, you can enable Amazon CloudWatch events to automatically push findings to an Amazon S3 bucket in your account or other data store for long-term retention. Next, can I take automated preventative actions using Amazon Guard Duty? With Amazon Guard Duty, Amazon CloudWatch events, and AWS Lambda, you have the flexibility to set up automated preventative actions based on a security finding. 
For example, you can create a Lambda function to modify your AWS security group rules based on security findings. If you get a guard duty finding indicating one of your Amazon EC2 instances is being probed by a known malicious IP, you can address it through a CloudWatch events rules that triggers a Lambda function to automatically modify your security group rules and restrict access on that port. Next, can we write custom detections in Amazon Guard Duty? No. Amazon Guard Duty removes the heavy lifting and complexity of developing and maintaining your own custom rule sets. New detections are continuously added based on customer feedback and research done by AWS Security and the Guard Duty team. Customer configured customizations include adding your own threat lists and IP safe lists. Next, does Guard Duty monitor all buckets in my account for S3 protection? Yes. Guard Duty for S3 protection by default monitors all S3 buckets in your environment. I hope the content was useful. We wish you all the very best. If you need a copy of this presentation, reach out to us and we will share a copy. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.